We conceded 25 goals at home this season. Bro, the, the thing is, we know there's fun. Like, I think, do you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to say something which is going to rile a lot of people up. But I'm going to mm. say, I actually feel these these performances have been a blessing. Because it's sussed out players. No, 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 listen. I'm going to land and then you'll understand what I'm saying. Because it's sussed out the players that we need to get rid of. It's sussed out where we need to actually improve. Because if we look at it, look, Benjamin White, flawless pretty much all season. But we know we need to improve. We need to get a proper fullback who can actually do that job properly. We now know, you know, we need to get a replacement or like a, not a replacement, sorry, but like a backup for, Saliba, we need to bring in someone who can actually come in for Saliba and do the job there. We now know maybe Thomas Party isn't the guy we've you know hyped him up to be. You know, now we know Mikhail Saka needs to have a backup because otherwise he's gonna start dropping his performances. We've now identified that okay, we might need a striker, we might need a proper number nine to come in. So if it wasn't for these performances, we probably would have been delusional to go into this window and go. Actually, we don't need we don't need a DM or we don't need we might need a midfielder. We need a right back. I think so. I've always said we needed one. We I need a right back, everybody. Good. Let me know. But Ben White's performance today, woo! He got cooked. And if and if that is what Matoma's gonna do to him, imagine Real Madrid Champions League night against Vinicius. Imagine uh, Champions League versus who? Give me Liao, AC Milan. Bro, mm. Liao, I don't think are gonna mess him up. I'm scared. I'm scared if we go into next season thinking that Ben White is the uh, this is why we need a right back. But is is thing good enough? Is um is what's his name Fresneda good enough defensively? Watch watch his performance against um, Vinny Junior this season. Man, Bro, man is, is Fresneda good enough to go up against Vinicius? Yeah, he did it. Bro, he Vinicius is gonna do backflips. He hacked him. He's already hacked him, fam. Bro, the guy's gonna do backflips on him. He's already done it, bro. He's handled Vinny. He can handle Vinny. Easy. He's done it already. Everyone in the chat, let me know right now. Do Arsenal Bro, you do know he's played right against Real, um, Real Valladolid already this season. And Fasnader did a good job on it. Well, Tommy Asu got ripped the way that Ben White got ripped today. If it's his first game back, yeah. If it's a... Tommy Asu hack it. Tommy Asu, could Tommy Asu, could Tommy Asu do it against Real Madrid on a Champions League no. night? Could Ben White do it as right back against no. Vinicius? That's what I'm saying. You, for, for Nader, you right? trust Zinchenko versus Rodrigo or, 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 or any of those guys? I don't trust Zinchenko because that's not his role. Not okay. because I don't trust him. Are, are we ready for Champions League, bro? <laughs> not really. Not really. Bro, okay. Look at it like this, right? And I, and I, In my opinion, right, Barcelona are levels above Arsenal in terms of their squad, in terms of individual talents. Like, and they can't hack the Champions League yet. And they've got bigger experienced players in the Champions League. They've got big moment players in the Champions League. And they couldn't hack it. They couldn't even hack Europa League as well. So I don't think unless we have a... Like like they keep saying, if we have a big window, I reckon, yes, we can get to the knockouts. But we need investment in this team. And we need to be honest. I think honesty is going to be the key because... If we're, if we're going to lie to ourselves and say Thomas Party is good enough, if we're going to lie to ourselves and say Benjamin White can go and do a job, if we're going to lie to ourselves and say we don't need to bring a number nine in to kill games off, then yes, we're not going to be ready. But we can be with, with I think, four to five signings. We can give ourselves a good account. I don't think we're winning it. You, you want to know something? You want to know something? i seen this. I nearly had a heart attack. Our number one target in the summer transfer window, who is it? Who is it? Uh, Declan Rice. Manchester City came knocking. One second, let me just read this. Big up Reggie. He says, Arsenal, dead and gone. London still blue. Bro, why are you making me read that super chat, bro? I appreciate the super chat, bro, but come on. Why are you doing that to me? You already know I'm having a tough day. Why would you do that to me right now? Come on, man. You could do. You could have said anything. That's, that's the first thing you got to say. You're not worried about my mental health? <laughs> hey, come on, bro. Respect to the super chatter, though. Unfortunately, we got to read all the super chats, even if they're dissing us. Big up to him. That's the second super chat of the night. But yeah, man, um, Declan Rice, bro. Imagine he goes to a, a Man City. Our number one summer transfer target could end up at Man City, bro. Just adds fuel to the fire of this team, how good they are. 
they're going to go and sign Declan Rice to replace Calvin Phillips, who barely plays for them, and give them 70 mil on top. If the that only, happens, the only thing that can make it better is if we go get Caicedo. That's the only. Caicedo killed it today, but he played right back too. Do you know? Do you know what? Yeah, like I ain't even gonna lie, bro. Like we need to bring both in, and I'll say why. Because if you look at what he did today, I know he played right back, and we're gonna, and I'm gonna say put him at the left Jacaro. If you now put him in that left Jacaro and let Zinchenko go up, and then. Let Saicedo do what he did at right back, but at left on the left hand side today, that could work, you know. Mm. And then you've got Declan Rice just generaling that midfield anyway. I want both of them. I don't even care. I want both. That's my expectation. Bro, it's just depressing. Casado's not going to come to Arsenal, bro. We're gonna go. We're gonna go for Declan Rice. Put all our eggs in the Declan Rice basket, and Casado is gonna be taken by like Liverpool or something. Then then Edu needs to go. Simple Edu and Richard that. have to be sacked. They have to be. There's no excuses. Simple as that. If it, you know what, there's no celebrating Champions League. There's no silver lining. This this performance this season was was good. You gotta give the team credit, but the, we've fallen off. We've fallen off. Saka has been woeful for like a couple of months, and 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 this is the reality. People saying the parade, planning a parade, bro. We haven't been. Okay, at least I, at least I get to go to. I might go to Spain and go to the Barca parade. I don't really care anymore. At least they won the they won the Liga tonight. They're two 0 up. Bro, can we just can we just? Yeah, fair enough. We bottled it. Everyone wants to see the bottle. There you go. There's the bottle. You want to see the bottle? You oh, happy? Oh, you know, you know what's actually nice? Have you seen the prime mock up bottle? No, that's not a mock-up. That's actually what he did. No, 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 no. There's, there's a. You know, okay. They were gonna release like a, a special prime bottle if we had won the league. It actually looks sick, you know. I actually yeah, like the KSI. Design. But KSI's yeah. an idiot. Why would he tweet that? Because <laughs> he's an idiot. He's, a, he's he's obviously a social influencer in it. So why would he tweet that? The friendly fire. <laughs> the fact that he tweeted that. It's like it's you understand how much hate you're putting towards your Bro, own it's team. A nice, but I, I want that released anyway. I like that. Well, like, what was he thinking posting this? It does look pretty sick, though. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. Nah, bro. KSI is uh, is up, bro. The guy, the guy, the guy is just trying to make money for Prime, bro. He don't care. Guys, but up, obviously, bro. it's his business. That's why what he's gonna do. Bro, I this would is, do the same if it was. This is he's turning us. He's using this to turn into a meme as free advertisement. That's what it is. Yeah, but that's what businessmen do. What do you want him to do? You know do? what? That's why he. That's him. why he had. That's why he. That's why he's a businessman and he's making all the money. And I'm the guy sitting here with exactly. with, with nearly twenty thousand exactly. subscribers. He has hundred thousand. Fair enough. I'm not gonna make fun of KSI too much, but the reality is, he. That's friendly fire. That is friendly fire. Now, I've sort of got look as a fan to do that, but uh, not only as a fan, as a partner to Arsenal Football Club. Mm. He's doing it more as a businessman. And less of an actual fan. Yeah, but that Arsenal benefits financially for it, though, isn't it? It's a com- look. It's a commercial deal. You can't you can't get on to for it. Fair enough. We keep it moving. We uh, we we. It is what it is. We 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 lick our wounds and we and we go again next season. Uh, expectations for next season. I need. I need another problems. day, maybe. Talk about this another day, maybe, because uh, I, I, we might as well get into the player ratings. Forget about expectations, right? 